Hey everyone. All right, today's video will be over multiplying positive and negative fractions. Make sure that you write down everything you see that's not already in your notes, and make sure you write down everything I write down. Your objective for today, I will be able to multiply positive and negative fractions. So let's review. Whenever we multiply fractions, we simply multiply numerators together, and then we multiply the denominators together. And keep in mind, in multiplication, we may see an X or we may see a dot. Either way, that symbol means to multiply. So let's do an example. One fourth times one third. I'm gonna multiply numerators, one times one, which equals one, and multiply denominators, four times three, which equals 12. That cannot be further reduced, so this would just be the final answer. All right, let's review the integer rules for multiplying with positive and negative numbers. We already know that a positive times a positive is just a positive answer, but what do we do when there's a negative involved? Well, we have a tool for you called Mike Dude. Mike Dude can be used for multiplication and division, but today we're just focusing on the multiplication part. So whenever you multiply and a negative is involved, you just simply cover up the signs of the numbers you're multiplying. So let's say you're multiplying a negative number times a negative number. Well then on Mike Dude, you're just gonna cover up the two negative signs. So when we cover up those two signs, we're left with a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive answer. Now, if we're multiplying a positive times a negative, we would cover up a positive and a negative on Mike Dude. We're left with a negative and we would have a negative answer. Same thing goes for a negative times a positive. When we cover those up, we get a negative answer. So we're gonna use Mike Dude today to determine the signs of our answers. Now, the steps to multiplying fractions, the only new thing you have to do is just use Mike Dude. And we're gonna do that first, that way we don't forget. We wanna find the sign of our answer first, then solve. So, we wanna change mixed numbers to improper, multiply numerators, multiply denominators, and simplify the answer, and if it's improper, make it mixed. So, steps two through five, you've actually done before. Step one's the only new thing here. So let's do some examples together. All right. Example one, we've got negative two-fifths times three-fourths. So the first thing we want to do is use Mike Dude. So we have a negative times a positive. So I want to cover up the negative and the positive, and I'm left with the negative. So that means that our answer is going to be negative. Now, we don't need to change to improper. These are not mixed numbers, so we move to step three. Multiply numerators. 2 times 3, that's 6. And denominators, we have 5 times 4, which is 20. This can be reduced by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So our answer is negative 3 tenths. All right, example 2. We have negative 3 eighths times negative 1 third. I have a negative times a negative, so I'm gonna use Mike Dude, and we see that our answer should be positive. So even though with a positive answer we don't put plus signs, I'm gonna put a little plus here just so we don't forget our answer should be positive. Now, we don't have mixed numbers to change, so we move on to multiplying numerators. Three times one is three, and eight times three is 24 for our denominators. So I have a positive three over 24. This can be reduced. We can divide top and bottom by three. So I get a positive one over eight. All right, example three, we have two and a half times negative one and three fifths. So we're gonna use Mike Dude. We've got a positive times a negative. So I cover those signs up and I'm left with a negative. So I know that my final answer 
is going to equal a negative fraction. So now we want to change our mixed numbers to improper. So I have 2 and 1 half, that would be 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. So I have 5 halves times, over here I've got a negative mixed number, so I'll have a negative improper. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So I have negative 8 over 5. Now remember, this is going to equal something negative, so i got to bring my negative sign down. Now I'm going to multiply numerators and multiply denominators. 5 times 8 is 40, and 2 times 5 is 10. So I have negative 40 over 10. This is improper. I need to make it mixed. So remember, top dog goes in the house, so I have 40 divided by 10. If you haven't heard that before, in seventh grade math, we say top dog goes in the house. So whenever we are dividing a fraction, the numerator always goes inside. So we have a negative improper, so we're going to have a negative mixed number as our answer. 10 goes into 40 four times, and that comes out evenly. With the remainder of zero, it means we actually don't have a fractional part, so our answer is simply negative four. All right, now it's time for you to try. We have three problems for you to solve. Make sure you use Mike Dude and determine the sign of your answer first, and then follow all of your multiplication steps just like normal. Don't forget your summary and complete sentences when you're completed. Bring your notes back to class, and we'll see you next class day. Have a great night.